So, HANA upgrade. So, yesterday we faced the some issues when we are upgrading the HANA system. There are the GCC libraries. We have to update it. That is one of the dependency task. So, HANA upgrade always, HANA installation or upgrade always depend on the your OS versions, OS libraries here. So, yesterday we have done the pre-work downloaded the patches we have extracted when we are trying to update the hana we got the issue saying that your libraries lib lib files are not in the so <clears throat> not in the correct version here so at the same time yesterday and also it depends upon the operating system as well here operating system if you see it here we have updated our operating system yesterday it's in the sps05 so we have updated our operating systems to the sp06 that is done then this library is also updated here okay both the prerequisites we are meeting here so as per the hana version we are meeting the both the prerequisite so check the current version of the hana database version here the current version of the HANA database version. It's in the SPS 0, SPS 07, HANA 2.0, SPS 07 here. So when you are planning to upgrade to the SPS 08, SPS 08, so main thing is, main important thing is OS version, kernels, space, and take the VM backup and also the latest feature in the HANA SPS 08 slash LSS shared, there is a one crypto, one encryption, encryption, encryption mechanism, the root keys, the backup keys, encryption mechanism got SAP introduced in the HANA 2.0 SPS 08. So this is the one of the file system which will get created inside of this file system they are the root keys backup encryption keys the security keys security keys previously we have ssfs keys so now sap introduced the the encrypt local uh, local secure local secure this ss lss got sap introduced in the ana 2.0 sps 08 here which means one new thing compared to the previous version and new version. So the LSS, LSS got SAP introduced it here in the HANA system here. So this LSS local secure storage is a separate, it's a kind of a lightweight utility, lightweight utility tool here. So this is for the storing and securely managing the your encryption case like uh, encryption of the root keys and if any other keys it will so securely it will store it here that's why it's called the lss here local so secure storage it's a separate lightweight utility for storing and securely managing the encryption of keys root keys other any sensitive data any configuration such any configuration settings and helping so this will help to protect the sensitive sensitive data server side sensitive data to avoid the any fraud usage and everything it will secure the data and everything here right so when you are doing the hana 2.0 sps 08 it will be activated by default during the hana installation or during the upgrade it will be updated here right so we have to we it will be done automatically this is the mandatory it will be updated here so it will create the one file system as well. It will create the one file system is called the HANA slash HANA encrypt. And also there is a one operating system user also will be created that is called the SID, SID and crypt, SID the crypt. There is a one operating system user also will be created as part of this configuration and everything here. So this allows operating system level duties strictly the separated between the administrators and the encryption key administrators. And so it kind of the mainly it will 
encryption keys securely storing and securely managing the keys root keys and backup keys other keys whatever you have it will surely managing the system and everything here it will pass it will protect configuration sensitive data at operating system level so then uh, <clears throat> then data volume encryption redo log encryption so log this kind of things encryption will be done by the this one so there is a one process will be created during the so update or installation of the this procedure here right so there is a process will be created here so to perform this one what we have to do we need the root user then go to slash media then there we have downloaded the hana 2.0 sps 08 file so there we have done the extraction using the sap car command there is a file got created here right in that file so we have we need to use the dot slash so hana installation we can do using the hdb lcm tools using these tools we can do the hana installation or upgrade so here so hdb upd upd for the update right then iphone ignore iphone iphone ignore iphone iphone ignore check underscore signature underscore file check underscore signature underscore file here so there is a signature file so otherwise directly you can just use the hdb upd then what type of hana database you are going to update it here so your database upgrade to the hana 2.0 sps 08 so it's a zero right then apply the system size dependent resource limit yes so what is the database user system what is the password of the user then your password you can enter it here okay so then so you cannot establish the database connection here connection failed so there is a connection issue here so there is a wrong ip maintained in the etc host file so because of this reason so 105 but here 106 is maintained it's a wrong ip so because of this reason so installation got interrupted in middle okay there is an internal ip got changed it got interrupted here so i have corrected here then execute the hdb upd file here so click on the zero then size dependent database user and password password of the system user here right so do you want to configure the fast restart option here so sap in the previous versions we have to manually enable the so fastest to the fastest to restart option means ana while starting while starting the hana database it will reload the all the data from main mem from dot disk for disk layer to normally we will call it as the persistency layer to memory layer it will take time so to avoid this kind of things we can use the fastest to restart option also available in the previous version as well but in this sps 0a the that is the option we are getting during the installation or upgrade itself so do you want to click the s button then it will ask the temp temp file systems and data will not be reloaded all the data will not be reloaded unloaded from the main memory only specific data will be unloaded that is the option right so do you want to do you want to continue yes right so then so here preparing the packages you can see here it is getting updated here so here it is asked to the system db system password then it is getting upgraded the hana is getting upgraded to the sps 08 here sps 08 it is getting upgraded you see here so it will uh, it will it will create the slash ss lss shared and so all the file systems encryption those things will be created so then 
in the back end once this is done it will be created in the the back end itself we can see that one so once the hana upgrade is so currently see it is in progress now So it's starting the all the process and everything here. So here, let me connect to the uh, HANA database here. So then, 00, zero multi-container system DB, then system, then let me connect it to validate the changes here. Okay. So here, anyhow, some of the process are started, at least name server is started, then we are able to connect it here. See. Ana version got upgraded to the SPS 08. SPS 08, it got upgraded here. Ana version got upgraded here. Right? So that is the so one thing. It's very simple actually. Ana. So there is no delivery units. So upgrade is done. Successfully upgrade got completed here. Upgrade got completed here. So then you can connect to the HDB ADM. Then just check the HDB space info. You see the process here, ANA process parameters and everything. You can see it here, right? Suppose if you want to manually activate, see, ANA got upgraded to the SPS 08 here. So normally as part of the installation or upgrade, it will come automatically here, right? So there is a LSSH. So there is a shared, you can see the shared file system here, LSSH shared file system here. Here you can see the CD, HDB. So here, there is an encryption of the files and everything got created here. Encryption of the files and everything got created here, right? So that is what here it is happened here. So slash LSH shared file system got created here. So in case if you want to manually activate, sir, you are in the old version. I am in the old version. I want to manually activate the encryptions and everything here, which means you need to what you have to do you need to stop the database here okay you need to stop the database stop the system stop the hana database then you can use the one command here migrate secure storage equals to lsh there is a command you need to use it here so hdb hdb ns util command hdb ns util command hyphen migrate hyphen migrate migrate so secure, 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 so store, secure store, so space, iPhone, iPhone. iPhone. What is the target? You are migrating the secure storage to the SSF to LSS. This one you are doing here, right? So, so, so this one we have to use it here. The current root key store is SSFS. Then target key store is the LSS. So that one. So we have to use it here. LSS is not installed. So which means there is a one live lib file which we have to install it here. Then we can so we can migrate it here. But so to migrate from existing one to target, you need to use the this command here. Migrate secure storage to the SSFS to LSS command. We have to use it here. This is the what. So we have to do that one. Then after that, 
we have to execute just start it here then it will be it will it will start it here it will start it here so this is the way we have to do the upgrade only upgrade just download the latest to patch level so then no need to stop the database just stop the sap application if anything on top of this database then use the hdb lcm tools lcm tools ana life cycle management tools so that will be we can do the installation of the upgrade and they can do the installation and upgrade of the the current systems to the the latest version see how we got upgraded to the sps 08 which is the latest version right so this is the way we can update it in the systems okay so this is the and then ana system upgrade path okay so this is the hana upgrade so any questions anyone okay i think it's straight forward so i think so let's talk about the 